Hey guys, it's Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group, and today's video is going to be a fairly short one, but this is a very popular question that I get asked, um, especially by a lot of small businesses uh, that are looking to transition from analog phone service to um, voice over IP, but they may not have all of the wiring in place that you may need for a typical voice over IP phone system. So the title of today's video is, can you use voice over IP phones on Wi-Fi or wirelessly in an office? The answer is yes, but there are some catches and we're going to get into that right now. So we're going to quickly go over some of the ways that your typical modern IP phones can be used over Wi-Fi or your wireless connection in your office. And I'm going to also talk about some pointers and things that you need to be aware of uh, when utilizing voice over IP phones on wireless connection so that you don't run into problems and you have a very good, uh, smooth and high quality voice over IP uh, communication experience going through Wi-Fi. So point number one, it depends on the phone. Um, some phones, uh, even some of the newer ones don't really support wireless and even the carriers will tell you that they don't support wireless or that they don't recommend it, but some phones actually do support wireless. Um, most phones will typically have like Wi-Fi built into the actual phone itself or it will have the ability to attach what we call a Wi-Fi dongle, um, which is basically it varies by phone, but it is basically a um, it is basically an adapter that typically plugs into the back of the phone that is branded to the same phone that you've got. So if it was a Polycom phone, per, uh, for example, it would be a Polycom compatible Wi-Fi dongle, or if it was a Yalink phone, it would be a Yalink branded Wi-Fi dongle that plugs into a specific port whether it be USB or some sort of like RJ9 port on the back of the phone to basically give the phone the ability to have a wireless receiver to connect to your wireless network. So um, that's how most phones will do it. It'll either be built into the phone, whereas the phone has Wi-Fi already built in, kind of like how your laptop that you may be watching this video on right now, your tablet or your cell phone has Wi-Fi built into it. It will have something like that, or it will need a dongle that is branded by the same phone uh, provider, phone uh, carrier uh, for that phone that's, that's specifically made to plug into it. Things to be aware of. Um, if you're somebody who's watching this that's thinking about using your voice over IP phones over Wi-Fi, I cannot stress to you enough how important it is for you to have good Wi-Fi equipment. Now, I'm not saying that you need to have the best Wi-Fi equipment on the market, like some really expensive Cisco stuff or some really expensive Aruba, uh, you know, uh, Wi-Fi equipment, but you need to have something that's decent. If you're watching this and you're somebody who's been having issues with Wi-Fi in the office, such as drop signal for the laptops and, you know, guest um, intermittency in Wi-Fi, like, you know, the speed is fluctuating and it just doesn't seem as high quality as when you plug into the, uh, into the direct internet. I recommend you get that upgraded by your IT guy um, or get that replaced or at least get it tested by somebody that knows what they're doing to find the problem and rectify it uh, before you put your voice over IP phones on the network. Plainly put, if regular appliances like your cell phone using Wi-Fi or your laptop or, 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 or wireless uh, computer devices in the office are having a hard time with wireless or your Wi-Fi connection in the office, oh, Believe you me, they will have, your voice over IP phones will have issues because they are far more sensitive to, uh, to I guess we'll say, bad quality or, or, or subpar performing wireless than other devices are like cell phones on wireless or tablets or computers. So just keep that in mind and take heed with that. Let's see here. Another point that I want to throw out there is I do not recommend, while this can be done, I'm not saying it's not possible, for the average business that doesn't have the money to get really, really high quality wireless uh, appliances and things like that, I do not recommend more than approximately three to five wireless devices, wireless voice over IP phones on the network. Why? It's something about once you go over like about five wireless devices on the network, you really need to have a decent router and possibly even a decent managed switch in place to be able to tell the wireless access points and the router that the voice over IP phones 
need to have the highest priority um, of traffic to be allowed to pass in and out over any other wireless devices on the network, whether that be wireless desktops for you and your staff or whether that be guests in the office that are also sharing wireless. Um, for those of you who are watching that may be using like an internet, maybe running like an internet cafe or a restaurant that has public Wi-Fi, this is a big deal. Even if you only have two to five phones, it's really important that you have some sort of appliances in place like a router, you know, a, a slightly higher end router that has the ability to tell the network, hey, if you have six guests that are in your restaurant that are watching Netflix or watching YouTube and hitting the network hard, make sure that the voice over IP phones on XYZ static uh, IP addresses have priority over those people. Make sure no matter what they do on that network, the, what, the voice over IP phones will always take precedence over what they're doing and gets first place, first class to the wireless internet over those people so that you ensure you don't get things like drop calls and static on the calls and things like that and whatnot. <clears throat> um, so here's some other things I want to talk about. Uh, the wireless dongles that we mentioned, if you're somebody who's watching this and you're looking at some phones that uh, don't have wireless receivers built in, kind of like laptops and things do these days, and you need a wireless dongle, wireless dongles typically cost between $15 to $30 a piece. I typically recommend that you get them from the provider as well because the provider that you're looking at going with that's supplying you with your phones, they will make sure that the wireless dongle that they propose um, along with your quote is 100% compatible with the phone that you're getting from them. More importantly, if you get the dongles from them, their support will actually typically remote in and set them up for you for free, you know, at no charge and make sure that it's working and things like that. As long as you give them your Wi-Fi, uh, your wireless network credentials, they'll go ahead and set all that up for you. Let's see here. Um, as I already stated, the provider will provide help. Um, another pointer that I wanted to throw out there if you're somebody who's watching this, and I've actually at the time of this video been working with multiple people that have been interested in running their VOIP over wireless. If you're somebody that's watching this and you're going to be heavily relying on a wireless voice over IP phone setup, um, I recommend if you need a desk phone that has wireless access um, to, to, to the internet for its service, I highly recommend Yalink. Um, while many of the phones out there have some form of wireless or Bluetooth ability or whatever it may be, like Cisco's and Polycom's have ways to do it here and there. Yeah, Link at the time of this video is one of the best brands that I have seen for applications in business where a business wants to be able to put a voice over IP desk phone on a wireless connection. I highly recommend Yeah, Link. And if you contact me, I can give you some examples of some, of some Yeah, Link phones, many of which most of the providers at the time of this video will give away for free that actually work really, really well with Wi-Fi networks and wireless applications where you may not have a wire in place to be able to uh, do what you need to do. Um, another pointer that I wanted to throw out there was, um, actually, no, this is my final thoughts. We're going to get into final thoughts because this is where one of my last pointers is. One thing that I wanted to say, and I stated this once before, I am personally not a fan of wireless desk phones. Phones that otherwise have a port on the back that goes into a Cat5 or Cat6 cable, trying to put those on wireless. I'm a big fanatic of, if you really absolutely got to have a phone on wireless, get a cordless IP phone. Um, the, you know, Yalink makes, Yalink and Panasonic make some excellent, excellent, excellent cordless IP phones. You're not going to get any of those for free through the carrier, but um, you can typically, especially if you go through me, get a really good deal on them or get them to practically give them to you or give them away for like nothing. I mean, we have a tropical smoothie franchise that we've worked with and with the particular Yalink phone, I believe it's the Yalink uh, W56P. Uh, normally that phone is like a $175 wireless phone. You know, we've gotten it for a tropical smoothie for like a dollar and 69 cents. I'm not saying I'd be able to get it, get, get it for you for a dollar and 69 cents, but I'd definitely be able to cut you a break on it, especially if you need multiple of them, and I'd be able to go to bat for you with the carrier. But the short of it is, I recommend you go with a cordless IP phone because they are more better suited for wireless. However, cordless IP phones don't typically have the ease of use and the feature and function of a full-fledged desk phone with all of its buttons and layout. So I understand if you really prefer to go with a, a desk phone and then convert it into Wi-Fi. Um, another example, and I understand this for those of you watching, is 
most cordless IP phones typically only support two to four lines. So if you've got a, you know, a 16 line polycom phone and you want it to have wireless capability, I get it. You're not going to get 16 line capability, not typically, on a Panasonic or Yalink cordless IP phone. So I understand it. Um, but again, if you're somebody who really needs to be on the go or on the move, I recommend a cordless IP phone, not take a desk phone and put a wireless dongle on it. That's just my two cents there. Um, another uh, final thought that I want to throw out there, I already mentioned it once before. Yalink, in my opinion, makes some of the best phones that are desk phones coupled with the best wireless dongles for the price that, are, that work really well in applications where somebody wants a wireless desk phone. So um, if you're watching this and you're thinking, I don't want a wireless, uh, a cordless voice over IP phone, I want my desk phone with the traditional handset that I can pick up to be cordless, um, Yalink I highly, highly, highly recommend. And we've actually done video reviews on um, some phones that have actually worked really well in some environments that, you know, we've seen the customer deploy them into a wireless environment and had no issues. Um, last final parting thought. You need to make sure, and I mentioned this earlier in the video, that you have a really good router, really good switch, and that you've got really good access points. Your phone is going to perform wirelessly only as good as your wireless or Wi-Fi network in your office is. So if your Wi-Fi network in the office is cheap or unstable or just kind of, you know, flim flam put together not so great kind of subpar put together by yourself or your IT peoples I would highly recommend that you give that a look and you either upgrade it or have somebody go through and do a once over on that thing and do some speed and some packet loss test on it before you put your phones on it because if your Wi-Fi network is really crappy I promise you you're going to experience things like drop calls failed transfers, call breakup, and things like that. And it's not the service provider's fault. It's not even your voice over IP phone's fault. It's your wireless network's fault. Um, before we get off the subject of uh, the wireless network, one brand that I highly recommend out there that we have worked with personally all over the United States, I actually use it in my office, and I've got tons of customers in our home state of Virginia that we've personally worked with that use it, is Ubiquity. Ubiquity is a very inexpensive, excellent, excellent, small business, complete Wi-Fi solution uh, for those of you out there that are watching that are thinking, I want to upgrade my Wi-Fi and I want to have something that's uh, better. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it through multiple sources, but we highly, highly recommend Ubiquity um, routers, switches, and wireless access points. When you look at them and you see what they do and you see the level of security and the level of customization that they have, You'll be shocked when you see the price, and I'll leave it at that. So, anyways, Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group. This concludes the video. Does uh, Can you use voice over IP phones over a Wi-Fi network? The answer is yes, but again, at the end of the day, your phones and phone system on Wi-Fi will only ever function as good as your wireless network is. So, anyways, Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget, I'm your go-to guy for the best deals on business phone and internet service in the United States. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I'll catch you guys again in the next video.